thought I was gonna fall asleep an hour I ago, don't. and Nora's not even gonna be here for the stream because I thought I was gonna be too asleep. What? I was so exhausted, just. Mm. Are we truly alive? Sadly. Tragically, we are, in fact, alive. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, we would like to acknowledge all of the chaos in US politics. Sorry to all of our non US folks um, that this is less relevant to. But yeah, it's been really stressful. And I mean, if you've been here before, you probably know. You've, you've probably heard my ranting on US politics. But um, we wanted to be less stressful space for today. So instead of our plan to return to arcade spirits today, we're postponing that to, I guess, Sunday. And for yeah. today, we will just be playing Kind Words, which is this cute game where you like write supportive letters and stuff to strangers. Yeah, it's supposed to be really sweet and really cute. And I've heard really good things about it. So that's it. And yeah, uh, if anyone does want to talk politics stuff, that's um, that's for in the Discord in the Satan channel. Because I will. Everyone's staying safe. I've heard things about like the same people basically uh, attacking and rioting in various other states as well. So, you know, everyone stay inside, stay safe. Yeah, everyone stay very safe to that. And the next yeah. while. Even if you're not in DC, everyone please stay safe. Now we're going to set aside the politics for the moment. And I shall return to doom scrolling after this, but you know, yeah. We're gonna I will be de try to be I'll chill be space for de-stressing. We're gonna look at this cute little postal deer. Hello, I'm Ella. I'm new in town. I'm your new mail deer. Everybody, because everybody gets sad, or scared, maybe even a little nervous about my new job here. I don't suppose you'd write me an encouraging note, please? Then I deliver it to myself and feel better at my job.
Kind of do creep. Yeah. Actually, I like the little flourish that I accidentally typoed. <laughs> I like the flourish because it looks like you're gonna be great. You're great. Oh, it's me. It, 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 I, uh, I already owned this game, but I never played it before, but I heard very I nice. feel like I have a copy. Not a Steam copy, a copy. Yes. And yeah. Are we supposed to sign it? Um, I don't remember. I think after the first letter, they give you, like, they ask you what you want to sign. I don't remember. Hi, Hi, Pi! I saw your tweet this morning, and you especially deserve a nice chill space, so welcome. I am. Um, much, much love. Oh, yeah, I was looking for an audio setting on the game. Oh no, it deleted everything! I hit escape to try to get a menu- sen settings menu in it. Disappeared. Aww. Well, maybe just um, just turn it down in the audio mixer. Mm -hmm. Maybe just turn it down to the audio mixer or something a little bit. Well, because it's going to affect your audio too, right? No, just turn down, not the audio mixer in general, just the game the audio mixer. Now, like, not turn down, like, desktop audio, just the mix, this game's mix in the audio. I don't know what you're talking about. So if you right-click on the audio, there's... The audio symbol in your, there's a volume mixer, and you can just slide the game down a bit. What do you mean? I if the, the game's too mixer. loud. So there's one specifically for this game. So if the game's too loud, you can just slide it down a little bit. In Streamlabs? No, no, your desktop oh. audio mixer. You have to be more specific. I said on the desktop. Some games don't, and it might also just be because we're still not in... I mean, they didn't have one on the main menu either, because I searched for it when I first even opened the game. Yeah. But, ooh! I was hoping for one eventually, but... Your, your cousin came out as my very primary, that's awesome. Oh! Oh, and, and Magic got a... Gifted sub the Fish channel, all yeah. the five hearts. Mm. All the pie hearts. Sign this or no? I, I, you can. I don't know how it handles. I, I don't remember. It's been a while. I'll just leave it off then. catch up on the chat <laughs> that's, okay. I did the writing and now I have to read and catch up um, done? yeah it's done, done. 
What a kind letter. Thank you. Before I register you in the post office, I need to make a couple things super clear. Kind Words is full of real people talking about real problems. This is not a place for mean jokes, bullying, or flippant responses. Yeah. Also, this isn't a place to meet people. Don't share any identifying details or links. I do what yep. I can to keep this a safe, caring place. I'm only one dear. I may run into a jerk for some bad advice. Please report them. I'm ready to be kind and receive kindness in return. Please sign here. Ah. Uh, we are the aces. That's us. Nice to meet you, aces. Give me a second to register you with the post office. All set. Now, if you want letters, all you have to do is ask for them. Maybe you're worried about something just like I was with this job. It can be scary, but don't be afraid to ask people for help. That's right. If you need help, you should reach out to people. We always like to welcome people to talk about anything. Yeah. See you soon. As, al as always, we are not licensed therapists. But... We are not licensed therapist now. <laughs> but we're always free to talk Ooh, and... Decorate. Yeah, yeah there's, um... Yeah. You, you get little... Screen you can get screen. little... You can get little stickers with, um... With... Uh... With letters. It's really cool. A lot is going on in my life right now, and I'm so afraid. The person I had a relationship with and who made me insecure and feel ignored before I broke up with him hates me because I told a friend that I liked him. And now he wants to stop talking to me. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I can give advice or I can give kind words. And technically for this game, I think I'm supposed to be nice. So, uh, I guess I probably... See, it's not godlike concentration for asexuality. In fact, it's not concentration at all. It just doesn't occur to us in the first place. Literally, I don't want... There are some days I don't remember that sex is a thing, honestly. Like, I literally forget. I don't know. Does anyone have kind words and advice for this person? can write them nice letters together. Mm, it's rough. Oh man. I'm just like, what, what would I say to that? What would I say? ambiguous not exactly no it's not it's ambiguous. That they made their ex well they feel that they made their ex feel insecure and ignored before they broke up um and i guess that ex is it is two different men a person okay there is an ex who I guess felt insecure and ignored before being broken up with, um, now hates the writer because the writer told a friend that they liked, I guess, the friend, and wants to stop talking to them now. Which I mean... I think it's the ex. I think it's yes. probably the, yes. the ex... Like, yes. they still had an okay relationship with the ex in terms until, of, like, Until the ex talking. found out that the writer told a friend they liked it. Mm, T, I'm sorry that you are having a hard time right now. I hope that things look up for you in the future and that all parties involved can get along again. I wish you the best of luck. Much love to you. That seems like a good response. That is actually a very, a very kind word response. Yes. Because... I am only so nice. I'm usually very blunt. But I am 
I'm going to take every bit of niceness that I can from chat to help and we will write nice things together because I think our chat is full of very nice people. Um, I mean... Yeah, yeah well, it, you can no... give advice. It did say that you can give, like, advice, but you shouldn't give, like, mean advice or flippant advice kind of thing. It, you can't solve uh, problems, but you can always let people know you hear them and they are not alone. There, and that's the thing of there's a very fine line of what is advice and what is kind words, you know? Uh, yeah, in this case, it's also yeah. a little hard to know what to give advice on, what advice is appropriate. In, yeah, in, in this case, it's it's kind of like, no, don't do advice, just send kind words. Yeah. Um, there is kind of stuff of like, hey, I'm scared about a new job that's coming up, or oh, I'm moving and I don't know what to do. Um, where it might be a little bit easier to go on general advice path. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's only so many lines friend. available, so yes. I... Else, one, I don't think that a story from your own life necessarily fits. And two, yeah. I mean, well, I know I mean, it, different it, it, people don't always contacts. like that. Yeah, I, I also true. sometimes just tell a story that's similar to like sympathize. But yeah, yeah, I, I agree with Mary too. Yeah, like, but I'm gonna start with what Joe said. It, it, it also is a thing of thanks for the follow. Oh, oh um, thank you. Um, it it is you, very friend. much of a um, uh, it's not the it is not the writer's fault. Um, also, I can I can copy and paste. This is great. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, and that and that's moving a, forward right. is generally, I mean, not even necessarily an attitude, but sometimes just something we have to do. Yeah, and that's very much a thing of, for some people that you can only go so far with just keep moving forward, um, because sometimes you do have to deal even though I don't feel like that's the right word, uh, with what's happened, uh, come to terms with, depending, again, um, might not be the right word. Uh, so, from Heath Robinson's, uh, oh, magic, you young child. Each action has a hidden opportunity cost. Each action I take denies me the opportunity to take another action. I mean, that's true. You'll find many people who love you. Not everyone is going to move in life alongside you. It's okay. That is a very good line, actually. Yeah. That is a really good line. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just go along and swim, swim, swim. Don't actually write that. <laughs> Alright, dear T. <laughs> the monkey's got a sword. We all have swords! Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Mary. Yeah, that's, that's very Thanks much Thanks for okay. joining at all. Dear T, I'm sorry that you are having a hard time right now. I hope that things look up for you in the future and that all parties involved can get along to go.
Ah, uh, yes, and here's where the... Grammar. Grammar. <laughs> I... Uh, I'm very picky. I know. I know. I, I'm not, like... My friend asked, who, like, actually wrote a book, asked me to help edit her next book. <laughs> because I am very picky on grammar. Yes. <laughs> I, I know. That, that's where it's going to get you, is the 14 lines. Yep. It's just like when I have to write a tweet. <laughs> Dude, well, like, I'm sorry that you're having a hard time right now. I hope that things look up for you in the future, when all parties involved can get along again. And if not, you'll still find many people who love you. Not everyone is going to move in life alongside you, and that's okay. And please, remember, you don't need to blame yourself for what's happened. I wish you the best of luck. Much love to you. Out of kind words. Should I send it? Yeah. What happens if you would add a sticker? I don't think we have any. Oh, do we not have any stickers yet? I oh, have wait, we have one. We have one? <gasps> oh. Yeah, we just have this one. But it doesn't feel appropriate on this. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no sticker. Okay. Much love to take. Send? Yeah, it's on. Oh. I think those were kind words. Thanks for letting me shamelessly rip off your words, chat. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. We'll rush this right over. Count on me to deliver this letter. But also, uh, can I share something with you? It's not officially part of my job, but I can't help it. It's not this hobby. Can I tell you? I think you'll dig it. Yeah, I... Making mixtapes! Ooh, one song at a time. Ooh! I a soft focus by Craft Boom yesterday. It's so chill. Hope you like it. Don't forget I... to click on the radio to change the music. I'll be back with another song tomorrow. Yeah, see, this one's a more advicey one. Yeah. Any tips for being consistent towards a new routine? Things are going well so far, but if anything helps, I'm looking forward towards this new year. I wish that all things would be better for you upon that. Please take care of yourself as any effort counts. I think see, but new routines can be hard. Yes. But it's about building a habit. So I guess see, the and, tip uh, for building a consistent Well, See, spread, schedule. Yeah, but the spreadsheets don't work for everyone. I know if I try yeah. to use a spreadsheet, I, I mean, would literally lose my for mind. Tips. So, yeah. you know, not all advice works for everyone. Yes. I like spreadsheets, but I don't think they help me towards building a routine because then I have to keep going back to the spreadsheet constantly. I generally prefer spreadsheets as like reference document? You know how I am with spreadsheets. I would literally lose my mind if I had to use a spreadsheet to do, yes. to do things. Um, no, I know. And I mean, it's not for everyone. Yeah, it's so. not. Um, alarms are a good way if there's any, if, um, if it's something that you like want to get done by certain times, setting an alarm to remind yourself, that's always that can always help. As like a scheduling thing. Um, I'm, I'm the type of person who always wants to get exercising, and I always start, and then I always uh, stop, uh, just because, like, oh, the weather gets bad, I'll do it, uh, like, tomorrow, and then, like, I just get out of that habit so quickly, because it doesn't feel, I, I mean, don't feel bad. Part of it is that 
The thing about building a new routine is that it has to become a routine. Yeah. You have to just, once you get further into it, it becomes easier. Yeah. I Are also you, uh, use spite as a motivator for things. You've lived off of spite for a few years. What do you mean lived like it's past tense? I you thrive because <laughs> when I think of the successes I have achieved, I use it to think of the people I hate and how jealous they would be and have been. Oh, wow. Like there was the guy who thought he was such a hot shot for uh, the amount of money that he was offered for some job because they just needed to fill the job and he was the one who was on the other side of the merger who seemed most likely to stick around. Yeah, apps. Um, there's a there's a quite there's quite a few like scheduling apps and stuff like that. Um, sticky notes also are a good idea if you place them in spots you know you're going to say to remind yourself. See, I just tell myself, you need to get strong enough to beat that person up. That, that is a very, that's a very good one, Joe. Mm -hmm. Need to get strong enough to beat that person up. Yeah. Um. I, like, well, this isn't on routines are working out, but like, I got a job at my ex's dream job company, and he was so salty. And he ranted away at everyone about how I didn't deserve it or whatever, and that was the best I'd felt. It's like, ah yes, the more successful I am in life, the angry he's gonna be about it, because he literally was. It's a good one. See, I've never lived all this by you. I've never gotten power. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually a very good line. Don't beat yourself up if you fail. Just start again. It'll work itself out eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm out of lines though. Yeah. Oh yes. I, I heard about that and I was like, yes, cry, cry harder. This is why I'm bad at kind words. This is why I need you to all help me with the nice words. I think this time we can add the sticker. This one. I think that's oh. appropriate this time. <gasps> it's routine. the hard work. It's the sweat from the hard work of sticking to uh, a routine. Yeah, it, that's, that is more than likely the block is the failing. It's like, ah, oh, well, why, why bother? I've given up already. It's like, I, I know, like, you have, you, you need to keep going, you need to keep going, you got, you got yeah. this. It's Once not you keep a failure, going. it's just a hiccup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's actually also a very good line. It's not <laughs> a failure, it's just a hiccup. Well, I don't have room for any more lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, 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 It is fun coming to this train because, like I was saying, before this train, I was basically, like, dead. And it's just like, ah, oh, yes, I have some energy again. I'm gonna get back slowly. I'm gonna send it. E send! Send. Send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. Watch this right over. You count on me to deliver this letter. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
nerds. Oh my, there's a send it emo. Stumped. Ah. Stumped gamers. I feel like I, this one's heavy. I. It's a mood. It's a mood from like 2016 Sharky. I, yes, I remember 2016 Sharky. That's when we started talking. 2016 Sharky was in a rough spot. I mean, 2021 Sharky was also in a rough spot. There are different rough spots. People go yes. through a lot of different rough spots. We work ourselves through it by coming to this stream. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, yes. Phase two. I remember phase two. The first time of, wait, what? No! Yeah, friend breaks, breakups are also difficult. Yes. yes. Sometimes they can be worse than, like, yes. oh, yeah. romantic breakups, even. Um, yeah. Uh, but th this, uh... This one's very oh, heavy, and I think right. I'll come back to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? I, there's... Oh, that's really cool. Soft focus. Oh, there's the music and the effects slider. Um. It's in the radio. I think it, effects it, is fine, right? I can't fine. hear any of it, you realize. Oh, yeah. Well, do you I, want me to share it? I mean, no, I'm, I'm assuming I'm, I'm you're just looking the stream. I'm just watching. I'm just totally fine. Like, this isn't one where I, like, I'm reading. Like, I'm totally fine. <laughs> uh, no, like... I am thankful... Yeah, a platonic, friend, a platonic friendship is a relationship like any other, yeah. so it can be, it, it, it can hurt just as much. Yeah, um, there are friends that if I had to stop talking to them, like, that would hurt. It would hurt yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I have quite a few friends that I'm like, if, if something happens, like, I, I would be extremely, like, and so much like just emotional pain from that like it, it it's a thing and that's totally fine mm -hmm. we can also make a request of something if we feel we want to say something mm -hmm. should we make a request yeah oh yeah i can hurt and they do take time to heal Society I, we act like breakups aren't necessarily like the romantic breakups and it's the worst thing ever because it's romantic. Because they're I, supposed to complete you or something. Um, but I mean a lot of times even like the a lot of people honestly are closer with their platonic friends. Oh um, yeah. Which is a whole other That's <laughs> a whole other issue. Yes. Yeah, that's a whole other issue. It's a whole other discussion. Um, but, I mean, what makes a breakup difficult isn't the romance. It's the closeness that you shared with someone. And now it's severed. Yeah. Like, completely. That, yeah. that hurts. Oh. We had a, we had a letter. Oh. From the developers. Welcome to Kind Words. We didn't want your inbox to start empty, so us developers wrote you a letter. We hope that you will enjoy your time here. Share, grow, and help others do the same. Thank you, developers. Yeah. Thank you for the kind words. Roll credits. Oh, oh we can change our room. <gasps> oh my gosh. Red, blue, green. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I, I have... um a very specific preference but like your favorite color is red yes uh, but the no but the blue blue one and the green one looks so nice too they do i really like the blue one I think. with the bunk beds 
Well, not for the bunk beds, but yes, with the bunk beds. Mm-hmm. I said with. Okay, that Cinemason's impression was a scary good sharky. Blue, blue. <laughs> All right. See, I, I actually don't watch Cinemasins anymore. I actually like the reverse, the channel Cinema Wins, because it's more on the lines of, hey, let's not tear down these movies. Let's talk about why they're good. Even if you don't like them, there's something good about them. And they have some good features. Let's talk about some of them. Instead of being like, ah, yes, let's tear down all of these tropes. Yeah, I mean, there's there's poking fun. Yes. Um, And, like, I think most of the CinemaSin stuff is more poking fun. Oh, yeah. Um, Same for the Honest trailers and stuff. But, yeah, I mean... Some people, some people take just want to focus on the positives. I'm a pessimist. Some, some people take CinemaSins very serious. Um, Hell yeah, bunk beds, get high advantage on monsters that try to attack you. I'm the monster, I'm the short little monster that can't my reach favorite, My favorite movies is The Mummy. Oh my gosh, The Mummy is so good. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just... Some movies are just fun to watch, so why not just talk about some? And like, I don't watch them a lot, but it's kind of just a thing. And I know some of the things, like the roll credits. Wait, so should we make a request? Should we just um, click the same there, it, things? Should we view requests? Is there is there um, something you want some kind of words about? words with other people and helping other people feel better but i'm not really the type of person who is good at receiving my words. see my brain just keeps going to stuff that happens to work which isn't not necessarily a bad but it makes my brain go what 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 <laughs> um like uh I'm not here like, for people to be nice to me. I'm here to be nice to other people, and then that's it. I'm also not here to be that nice to other people necessarily. I don't know. That's, that's nice if you do. Do you ever want to talk about your feelings, Sagan? No. Do I ever want to talk about my feelings? Hello, here are my feelings. There. Here's on spite. Here's rage, here's anger, here's distraction. Oh, oh, don't forget depression. So what you're saying is somebody needs to make fan art of like inside out, but your feelings? (laughs) Joy locked away in a cage. That's literally what I'm hearing. (laughs) Is like somebody making Just different colored baths. Your inside out characters. On like the little control panel, you know what I mean? It's time to shut from the room. Right on the paper airplane. Oh! Flying through everyone's room. So oh. Tell everyone they're beautiful. Yell out your thanks. Inspire us all. I never what? said that I won't talk about my feelings. You're just not going to know any depth to it, it's fine. <laughs> I am feeling sore because I've been on the phone all day. I pass my dog. I do that too. I um, pe- I actually pace a lot, just in general. Like when I'm thinking or when I'm just waiting, I'll just pace. And that, if I actually am on the phone with somebody, I will get up and basically just pace the room, or I'll pace between like three or four. Rooms. Oh, I get pretty nervous um, on the phone. Um, it. When I used to live with my parents, my parents would always be like, sit down, you're making us nervous. I'm like, I need to pace. See, yeah, I I don't necessarily pace while I'm on the phone, but I get restless. So I have done such things as get up and start putting dishes out of the dishwasher. I have uh, started cooking. I have walked into my room to like lay down on my bed and then roll around back and forth just so I'm moving. (laughs) 
And if you take a look inside my head here, you'll see the desire to take long walks alone in the woods at night, fighting with my desire to not be kidnapped. Place your bets! Save magic. <laughs> Unless that's supposed I, to be me in the first place. I don't have a dominant, but if I did, I don't have many, mm -hmm. many steps. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, yeah. That was before I had I had um, the Fitbit, and oh yeah, I imagined plenty of steps with a bad My Fitbit on the has suffered since I uh, since we've been in like shelter in place, lockdown stuff. Ten bucks on taking the walk anyway. <laughs> uh, see, I'd be like. Do I want to take a walk or not be kidnapped? Ah, I'm too tired. I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> All right. Who's got some love to spread or a favorite quote? Because walkies. What about talkies? Hey. Well, that's what you're doing during the walkies, right? That is While you true. Pace. <laughs> <laughs> walkies and talkies. Nice. Talkies cause walkies, you know. Talkies. Yeah, uh, man. That's a good quote. I actually don't know a lot of quotes. Mm. It, talking to the creatures in the forest? Probably. I mean, that is oh, talking. Wait. I have to find my waitress quote. To be fair, I would take walks back when I was on campus. There one time I was wandering at 1 a.m. and heard a bottle break behind me. In that moment, I couldn't. <laughs> See, Magic, I get that. I, I, oh man. Yeah, just, yeah. See, I, I've not actually had a, um, a fear of that myself. But I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Are you, are you looking for waitress quote? Uh, I found it, but then you said a fear of something yourself and I went Nothing. Ahead. What fear? No, no, don't, don't worry. What, what's the waitress quote? Quote. Quack, quack. Quack. Specifically being burned at the stake. Um, that'd be pretty... That'd be pretty hard when you're breaking points all you have, a dream is a soft place to land. Oh. Oh. Hearts. Yes, heart. Hearts. Yes, I put a heart. Should I, I put I more hearts? I, I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I'm not a... I I have not seen bleach or red bleach in quite a quite quite a long time. I don't I remember vague things about it. I don't really I don't really remember. It's been a very long time since I've bleached. No. I send this. Yeah, send it. Boop. 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 Think of off the top of my head, mainly because of the two major fears that I have of uh, spiders and heights. Ugh. Who's got a good Kingdom Hearts quote to share? <sighs> For kind words? Uh huh. I 
like there's some. I just don't no, there, know any off the top of my head. Cool, my other fear is horses, and I will not be taking questions. I mean, that's <laughs> that's really not that weird um, to me. Um, horses kind of make sense. I they, mean, they, horses are like bigger than us, generally speaking, I'm, and stronger I'm, than us in and various I mean, ways, and are people, capable of harming us. And people have fears of other animals, so it's like it's not really that like oh that's not that like, and I don't feel it's really kind of oddly suspicious. Specific, it's kind of like yeah, no, I I can understand that. Greater fear of moose than horses. That also makes sense. <laughs> I found a Kingdom Hearts quote to put. Which one? Though the world may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties, as do our hearts. I think that's a cute quote to give. It's not Kingdom Hearts 1? I don't know, it just says the character. Who? Take your guess first. You're the Kingdom Hearts wiki. See, I feel like that can be said in a few different spots. And I can't. Of course can't. it can, this is Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why my brain is going to the Hollow Bastion scene at the end, and that would be either Yuffie, Aerith, or Squall. Leon. Can't call him Squall, because he's called Leon. Um, or it's Mickey, and I can't... I can't think of who it is. It's Jensen. Like, it's Jensen? Uh-huh. Man. I don't know, I said, it just says the name. But it's credited to Yensid for this, uh... Yeah. Maybe that's a three quote, and I haven't actually- I've only watched a cutscene to three once. I, I, or to D, a 3D quote, and I don't remember 3D. <laughs> or to two quote, and I just forget two. Gosh, I'm bad with Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'm just gonna replace the with our, because it doesn't make sense. Out of the Kingdom Hearts context to say though be worlds. Thanks for watching Shark you play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. I hope that's right. You actually got it right. Uh yes, Square is Kingdom Hearts is the Square Disney crossover. Yes. The um, shitty fanfic. Um there There's a there's a Hearts lot of gone. Good study playlist type songs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For no, that matter um, a lot of games. Yes, oh yeah. Uh, my usual background, if I need like actual background noise, I have a good amount of um, uh, like, uh, songs from games to just play because they're very good. Uh, apparently, well, a lot kind of, of stuff is uh, on your study playlist, Matt. Yeah, well, I'm actually curious what songs. Um, apparently, pers a lot song? of Persona. Uh, got added to Spotify yesterday or today. Can I get to send this one? Oh yeah. Preparing for takeoff. Flying through the air. Should we go See, back to some Yeah, let's let's use some requests. I'm like, my brain's like, ah oh, yes, some Kingdom Hearts song. I need white noise to do anything. Uh, I need white noise to sleep, to drive, to read, play games. I need white noise like basically going 24 seven or my brain will go on overdrive and I can't focus. Arson kind of playlist, baby. What's on that one? Oh no, please, in Discord, please tell us that. <laughs> uh, 
Does that say J-Vent? I'm assuming it says just venting. Oh. Uh, That's my home life is so uncomfortable. My mom is amazing. Oh. I can't for- I just can't forget and forgive all my- the trauma my mom caused me since I was little. I'm almost 21 and recently she's tried to make things right between us. But I can't forget all the yelling, the nightmares and insults. How controlling she was. I wish I could. Oh. Oh. I think I might actually cry to that one. Like. All right, everyone, give Cherokee a virtual hug now. No, actually, like that hurts. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I mean, I am gonna reply to this one. Oh. Uh, ooh. Part of me wants to... Part of me is like... Raised by narcissists feels very familiar, but I'm very hesitant to be like, yes, she is one, even though part of me really wants to say, um, just because I'm not a mental health professional and I shouldn't be diagnosing people when it's not my job type thing. Um, Hi, car. what I was No adults in the house. Ah, uh, yes, I know that mood. Wait, there was supposed to be an adult in this house? Adults? In the house? It's more likely than you think. Just yeah. kidding, there are no adults. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just Besides, adult adulthood is a myth. It is. See, that, and that that's what, one of the things is, uh, I need adults. I am the adult! It's like the thing of, like, I need an adult. Wait. I am the adult here. But I'm not an adult! <laughs> He's attacked by adult, but he sleeping against me! Um. I mean, He's I was always told. He's asleep and can't stop me! I was always told, one day you're just gonna grow up and put this stuff behind you, and I'm like, why do I need to? Like, what? Why should I? Like, what's the purpose of it? What does that benefit me? Uh, I'm like, do I technically check the boxes for being an adult? Yes. Do I also have a bag full of dino nuggets in the freezer? Absolutely. fucking loot <laughs> Dino nuggets are the best. Because why wouldn't you just want a bag of dino nuggets in the I freezer? I mean, we got an air fryer recently and we're like, oh, what should we get that we can like air fry? on hand as a snack to like play with it dino we nuggets. got dino nuggets and you know it's great three pound jar oh. of peanut m &Ms. Oof, nice yeah frozen nuggets do great in the air fryer um we also got a bag of popcorn chicken that we already finished a while back Ooh, um nice, but nice. the bag actually comes with air fryer instructions wow That's actually really cool. That it comes with those two. XKCD comic with the girl who filled their apartment with clay pen holes. We're the adults that we can decide what that means. Yeah. Uh, boop. Ooh, 
and Sharky shenanigans. Mm -hmm. I don't know where else to put this, so as requested, some of the hits on the Arson playlist include We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel, Things We Lost in the Fire by Bestial, Fire Burning by Sean I'm King so Finn. hurt that Arson didn't go in the sitting space. Set Fire to the Rain by Adele, Burning Burn for It you Down by is so good. Burning uh, for You by Blue Oyster Cult, good one. Fireflies by Al City. Fireball by Pitbull, Burn It Up by the Jonas Brothers, Burn It Down by Lincoln Park. <laughs> About five different type songs all titled Burn and so much more. Oh. Those are pretty good. Those There's are a lot of good songs in there. There's a lot of good songs in but there. I'm so hurt. If it's an arson playlist, you could have put it in the sinning space. Here's where I continually joke you're the one more likely to set fire. I'm I have the one candle lit next to me. I'm the one who jokes about it. And people are like, you're a narcissist. I'm like, okay, but I'm not. <laughs> you can be sinned, for I have sinned. I forgive Ooh. you because you sinned. <laughs> Is our sin a sin? I mean... Like, it's a crime. If it hurts but... someone else, I would assume it's a sin. Like, is it a, it's a crime, but it's a, let me call a priest. It is a crime. I would say that it's not a sin directly, but it's like indirectly a sin because you probably are harming someone in some form. Like you're worsening someone's life if you set fire to their shit. And if you're going by like- And you're uh, putting people in danger. Yes, yes. Sin adjacent. Um, technically not a sin, probably frowned upon. Sign tangent? Right, Dad! Hello, Dad. We don't have any Maybe other stickers. Cosine. Yeah, we only have the one sticker. Yeah, we only have the one. I will send this one. I'm making, a geometry, I'm making a geometry joke, and I'm sorry for it. Don't ever feel sorry to make a geometry joke. Only feel sorry if you decide to make a pre-calculus joke. What would be a pre-calc joke? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Arson is legal, and it's the only way to have it. <laughs> oh, this one's rough. Wait, oh, hold on, I, I haven't... <laughs> Wait, how damn dare you make me a Ken Major look at math? Uh, I, said some, I said something to someone I love very dearly, and I said, I'm still never like most over half of my friends. I didn't even want to get out of bed that time. My birthday is coming up, and I have no one to spend it with. How am I supposed to enjoy such an empty day? Oh. I spent my birthday during the height of the BLM protests, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... Yeah. Rough, rough birthdays. I, I want to say like, oh, you know, you'll make new friends and stuff, but I mean, especially in a pandemic, it's going to be hard to make new friends in time, and I don't know if that's what this person wants to hear. It's always hard. And, and what especially, it's a, um, yeah. when it's a like, Hey, like somebody misunderstood me, and now yeah. all these friendships are going on, are like are gone in an instant. Um, like, and then you're like, hey, my birthday's coming up. I was, they were more than likely probably going to spend it, even if not physically with friends, probably like. I mean, talking to friends and stuff. Talking to friends. Yeah. Um. So it's just like losing over half of their friend group all, right, all at time once. To... I thought I was misunderstood, but it turns out the friend I mentioned before dragged my name through the mud and spread rumors about me. 
Yeah, I mean, I've, I've actually had that happen to me a bunch I've, where I've people lost I've, a lot of friends. I don't talk to anyone I was friends with in high school anymore, and I mean, it wasn't really a misunderstanding. They were talking shit about me behind my back, and it's tough. Yeah, but, but on the other uh, hand, got toxic people. Yeah, I've I've had multiple friends um, before high school say very terrible things about me behind my back. Um, and it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Especially with the young, impressionable Sharky. Uh, yes. Well, hopefully no one's saying shitty things behind your back to present-day Sharky. I mean, I wouldn't, day Sharky. I, I wouldn't know because it's behind my back. I know. I mean, I imagine some people are. It's not like I am, um... I'm now at the point of, like... If you talk shit about me behind my back, I'm just like, oh, you really should have said it to my face. I'd probably agree with you. Oh, my gosh. It, it's, it's rough. Especially... I'm just like half your French group. Oh my gosh. Shall we answer this one? <laughs> I mean, oh, oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah. Also, don't need anyone to talk by my back. Get it for free, directly in my brain. 24 7 baby. Exactly. Also, mood. also mood. You don't have to talk behind my back. I promise it's nothing worse than what's in my own brain. Oh, yeah. That's that's a mood. <laughs> that, is, that is a very big mood. But I have also always been a person who's like, I don't give a shit what other people want to say about me. making me hate my selfish ally. I was born in self-loathing, raised in it. I didn't know confidence until... Wait, I've never known confidence. Note for chat, I have never seen Dark Knight Rises. I've just, it's an impression uh, based off of the impressions I hear. What advice can we give for their births? <laughs> See, my advice for birthdays are, is not good advice, because I'm like, spending it, spend it doing what you love. Spend it doing something uh, make, that makes you happy, that's hard to say, because probably hanging out with friends is what makes you happy. Yeah, and it'll be on their mind. Yes. I don't want to say anything as like flippant or jokey as like, yeah, well, okay, no yeah. one's having a happy birthday because we're all in quarantine. Um, working. Yeah, no, we shouldn't say something that's flippant like that. Kind words. Yeah. I'm uh, also a little bit like, don't think about it too much about being their birthday because it's. You know, it's just a day, and the day will pass, but 
Um, that's not helpful. <laughs> no. Spend a week in a better place. Volunteer your time. Don't eat the food thing. Some days when somebody says, do you want to construct a criticism? It's like, I only take cash or credit. Other days, it's like, on virtue deals. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, man. The cash or credit thing's very good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, you could spend it mm, volunteering, volunteering time. Mm, yeah, I mean that that is something that could be very helpful. Um, I mean, definitely like. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Someone used that quote for a Legend of Zelda comic, and now it lives in my head rent free. <laughs> well, ho hopefully, there's no, no pots in your living in your headspace, or else they'll be broken. Fire and flames, glory and the universe on fire, black or firelight, wisdom, let's play with fire. Ooh. Need to listen to some of those. Ooh, sorry. I got fire on the brain. The funny thing is. I actually am not that big into swimming and water and stuff like that. Uh, like, that's actually the very interesting thing is I am sharky, I am a goldfish, but I'm not, like, actually a water person. <laughs> it's because I am... The embodying the shark avatar is... and the sharky name, it's because I decided he's called Sharky now. <laughs> the hair I know as Lava Shark. It, it, it's weird. The embodiment of me is a cartoon shark. It doesn't necessarily have to be a shark who actually swims. It could just be a giant land shark, like in some of those cartoons. Or I'm a just snow a cartoon... shark, like you had. I am just a cartoon shark. Uh... Uh, uh, as for your birthday, um, and remember, even if you don't feel like it, there are still people out there who love and care about you. That is a very good ending. Okay. Amazing. Hearts, send, love. I didn't add a heart. It feels a little inappropriate if I put it does. a heart emoji on this. Yes, yes, it, has, it very much does. Count on me to deliver this letter. Ooh, Rhapsody, Reign of a Thousand Flames, Dream Evil in Flames You Burn. Ooh. What? When, when we say celebrate the little things, how does one celebrate? Or I suppose, how do you celebrate? Whether it's getting out of bed or eating it through one day or the day in one piece. Hmm. Ooh. How does everyone celebrate their little victories? I give myself treats as though I am a cat, but with human gift food. <laughs> I just want to sell but I also don't do that just for victories. Also you do that 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> how, does, how do you celebrate the little things? By locking it. <laughs> or I go over to my cat and I boop them on the nose and I tell them the good news. 
Um, I'm trying to switch this. Uh, I'm trying to think. Because I'm like... I'm trying to be like, do, do I pay it? Like, what little things? Like, what, like, I probably have some habits that I'm just not thinking of. For, like, I think the little I really things. just, I, I finish something that I'm happy about, and then I go over and boot my cats on the nose. But I also just do that throughout the day. See, more than likely to message someone just with a yay. Or something. Because you'll probably notice I message you and just be like, whoa, or something. Yeah. And that's usually, or like, um, uh, I found out a way from maybe during recordings being able to share audio and video of what I'm playing from the capture card. Um, and I just message a friend basically going like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's just basically be, me being like, like a, yay, I did it. And then just doing a small explanation. Most of the time, people are like, oh, that's cool. And it's kind of just a, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically, bye. That's like, that's the, basically the thing I can think of. Uh, it's just a, like a, yay, I did it. It's why my Discord has the first channel. Oh, yeah. oh, that is that. Yo, know, that is a very. I like that one. I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. Oh, that's what the fridge channel is. Yeah, ha hanging it up on the fridge. That actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's so good. Uh, A lot of ways to celebrate the little things. That would what brings you joy. For some people, it's nice to show, to show, uh, like a little, yeah, I did it. For others, it's extremely so something to enjoy, like your favorite snack or taking a break to do something. I know it's a surprisingly sensible place sometimes. Hey, I mean, and it's always, hey, what works with your. Actually, can we suggest they hang it on their fridge? Or yeah, hang a little note on your fridge. Kind of like, um, if it's, or like, but even if it's not like, um, like I was saying with like sticky notes or something, um, or like, or you could be like, have a little sticky note and be like, yeah, you, like, cool, you did this, uh, Or like um having like a whiteboard, like having a little section to be like a little victory of the day, just to be like here's some little victories or something like that. Um, just to be like I did something that I'm very proud of, even even if it's tiny. Like get out of bed, di do the dishes, vacuum a little bit, because everyone's battles are different. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as this person said, sometimes it's just getting out of bed. Yeah. It took me almost two hours to get up this morning. <laughs> so, yeah, to, like a whiteboard with today's accomplishments. It, it, some days it might only be like, uh, <laughs> got dressed, uh, depending. Mm -hmm. Or a shower. Day, yeah, so, or some days it might be a whole list of stuff, but. Managed to eat meals. Hey, Sharky, what? remember to congratulate yourself when you eat meals and actually do it. I had two meals today. Good kid. Yeah, I had two meals today. Uh-huh, because we got provided lunch. Yeah. I, Which, that's actually a very good idea, and I do like that. Eat a vegetable. vegetable. Like, nine stars after it. I, I do actually really like the little whiteboard with, here's today's accomplishments. Mm. Just to remind yourself, hey... You did do stuff today, even if you're not thinking about it. And even if it is, just get up. And that's important.
they, yeah. And and my brain went to, oh, that, that'd be so much fun to kids and be like, hey, here's a little cool thing, like, little thing. Just to be like, yeah, you did it. Oh yeah, kid, you're gonna go so gold star. <laughs> I saw, um, so I think it was a TikTok where this person got this little dollar store um, oh, yeah. stickers and, like, did the laundry or, like, cooked dinner or something mm -hmm. and went around put, putting these stickers on, like, their roommates. And the roommates were just filled with such delight when they looked down and saw what the sticker was. It was really sweet. Aww. That is so adorable. Whatever you choose, just remember to pause and be proud of yourself for your little bit. Papa Shark, can I get a sticker for giving a mini practice talk today? Oh, would you give a mini practice talk on? Yeah, I really like that one. And, and magic, I will... <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Suggest any cool mashup for your songs. Literally, the one thing that always comes up as a mashup in my brain is somebody took... Um, uh, Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure and the DuckTales theme song and it surprisingly sounds really cool. The effects of ultimate cell cycle length and stem cells on the on the structure of heterochromatin. That sounds really cool. That, oh boy, if I knew what heterochromatin was. <laughs> but that... Uh, uh, I understood everything up to heterochromatin. <laughs> um, but that's actually really cool and interesting. I would totally give a star for that. Even yeah. if it was a practice, that's still really cool. Because that means you're going to give an actual talk on it eventually. Hmm. And practice makes perfect. So yeah, always gold star for practicing. Sometimes Magic talks about their studies. Wow. Magic's the smartest one here. <laughs> I mean, Magic is smarter than all of us. Te technically, like, what, a month or so ago, a gold star would have been, hey, I put up the YouTube yeah. episode. Yes, you did. Because that was, cause it was finally a, I sat down and did it, I sat down and posted it. I think that's like, more that than a gold star. star. That's like nine gold stars. That's a whole sheet, in fact. <laughs> Just give yourself a whole sheet. See, see the thing put was, whole, it was already... a little star. Sky. At like See, night the thing sky, was, little gold stars all over your ceiling. Everything was done, but I kind of just needed to press the upload and do button. So it was kind of like that was more the gold star to me. It's like, yeah. I finally but just But launching is, it. you know, nerve-wracking. So you know how your DNA is very long? It needs to be bundled up to fit in your cells. Hydrocrompton is basically really tightly cold DNA. This is, has the added benefit of silenced genes that shouldn't be expressed in certain cells. Oh, that is really. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. That's, so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Today and stem cell research in general. It's so cool. Or, or, or is it the more you know? Yeah. That is the thing. Alright. That, that is actually so awesome. And the fact that you can give a talk on that is so cool. Yeah. Especially how, like, it is affected by other things. So, times are tough and things are scary, but how you feel now will not last forever. Get through now and everything will be okay. You deserve to be okay. That's Ex Of course, when the heterochromatin is disrupted, you get stuff like cancer. Oh no. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but oh no. Yeah. That's scary. Sometimes listening to this game soundtrack out and about, I remember all the positivity that's shared here, and I feel less alone. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Please never stop trying to be kind. That's... 
also one thing I probably subconsciously think about when I listen to game soundtracks is kind of like, um, I was listening to, I forget what I was listening to, but like it kind of made me think of like friends and stuff like that. Um, and like community and stuff like that. And it kind of just mm-hmm. makes you feel better, even for that slightest moment. I can't remember what I was listening to that made me feel bad. Alright, who's got a good quote to send out to people? I love to spread it. Who's got a Quack. cute message? Quack is not a cute message full of love to send. Unless you also draw them a cute duck. But I don't think we can draw them a cute duck. No, we can't draw them a cute duck. There's only words. Wait, can I find an ASCII duck? <laughs> We're back in the early 2000s now. Ah, uh, yes. ASCII. A thing I never really... Uh, got... into. This cute. Like, obviously, I know about the stuff, but, like, it, it never, like, I never connected with it. Mm-hmm. This little internet stranger thinks you're neat. Keep being neat. Wait, you don't, you don't what? You don't a- know what ASCII is? <sighs> ASCII, okay, so ASCII is technically like the character set on your computer yes. but um there's a thing called like ascii art where basically it's just um making <laughs> little drawings out of like computer characters oh my god so it used yeah. to be a really big thing oh it used to be a very big thing I just saw the same. Are you showing the Kirby dance? And my brain was like, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Somebody trying to, like, somebody drawing the Kirby dance in ASCII. Uh, especially how Kirby's in three. That's amazing. Okay, so I found a picture that was an ASCII duck, but it used this, like, fancy upside down three symbol and stuff. And so I'm just going to put a couple commas and hope that's cute enough as a duck tail. Woo! Every day out there making cocktails. Woo! Now it's stuck in song stuck in my head. Hmm? It's actually been very interesting. Every day this week, I've had a different song stuck in my head. Yeah. Um, like, um, one day I... Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Spelled ASCII. A-S-C-I-I. If you want to look it up. <laughs> Kirby dance. I need to play more Kirby, actually. Honestly, that might be. Do we scary. like the ASCII duck? This little duck has come to visit you and bring you happy thoughts. Quack. Oh, oh the, the the duck looks adorable. <laughs> I stole it off of Google. <laughs> Hey, that, well, that's totally so the fun. one I found is like cuter, sort of, with the tail, but uh, yeah. I can't make that tail. And it has like an underlined three to complete the bottom line, but we also can't do underlining here, so this is what we've got. I mean, it, I, I so still cute. really like it. Okay, I'm gonna send it. It's I love how my little joke will bring, will be, uh, bring kind words to somebody. What, saying quack? Quack. And I really need to play that game. Because there's a dedicated quack button. Uh-huh. 
Or I just need to get a soundboard. That too. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Should we answer more requests? Should we make a request? I don't really have anything to request. I don't have anything to request. My, my brain is kind of just me going, ah, because today was, a lot happened today at work, actually. Mm -hmm. What? Is that a rat? Oh. It's a little there's mouse. Dedicated, that's so cute. There's a dedicated so whack button that changes pitch. That's amazing. I didn't know it changed pitch, actually. All I know is there was a dedicated whack button. You want to stop feeling alone. At the end of the day, I feel that I'm always alone. Oh. I feel that. I, I mean, it's relatable. I, I, so what nice words do you have for this person? I'm just so impressed by this little mouse from Death. It's so it cute. is. It is very cute. It is so cute. I don't know how they made it, and I'm like, that is amazing. Just like the one above it, uh, that that's made, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Like, at, when people know how to make ASCII art, they make really good ASCII art. Mm -hmm. Um, it's its own little art form, and oh boy, it's, people it are good. It used to be such a big thing, and it's still oh, yeah. kind of a thing. Like, if you've seen those, uh, tweets and stuff that have, like, the rabbit holding up the sign. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Ah, your keyboard has calm emojis. That makes what? sense. What? I don't know that. Yeah, I, I don't know that one. I'm like, I don't know what to say to this one because all that comes to mind is the, uh, the Kingdom Hearts <laughs> quote. From the bottle. From the bottle? Uh, you know the ladder in a bottle from Kyrie? At the end of Ah, uh, we all share one sky, one destiny, that one. Yes, but this that fun, feels very inappropriate to put. Fun fact, that, that those lines didn't originate in Kingdom Hearts 2 in the bottle. They actually showed up in Kingdom Hearts 1. Although I still feel like and our hearts will blend is like you're, you're putting your hearts in a blender well technically their hearts did blend for a while kingdom hearts one did happen nerd yeah i am um why yes magic your father is a nerd i'm happy you understand that see all, all my brain is going to is mood which is not the right thing to say that is in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> uh, see, I'm very bad at giving kind words to people. I mean, I'm I am still going to give like a spin off that same Kingdom Hearts quote to start. I, I am very good at listening, but when it comes to responding, I'm very bad. Um, very bad.
Yeah, that's what it was. I like, but there and there are people who do care about you. Even if, even if you're not together. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make the joke. <laughs> uh, I also recommend hugging and stuff. Damn, but yeah, I, I have actually been in, um, when I am uh, going to bed, um, uh, people to, um, or you've seen that uh, Discord picture, the square stuffed animal I got a few weeks ago, it's always right next to me. Um, and I'm, I always have it next to me, and I'm either hugging it or just physically right next to me um, to kind of make it a little less, like, just me. And yeah, hugging stuffed animals is great. send a second follow-up letter that says P.S. Hug a stuffed animal. No, you can just add it at the bottom. Yeah, but it feels like a very sudden shift. Hug more stuff. Like a key shirt. Ah, uh, see, ever since I think I sent a link to that Twitter mm. where the, the IKEA shark Twitter, I've been following it and I love it. I've seen their things every day. So, with the IKEA shark family, I need an Ikea shark to add to be friends with Chocobo and Goldfish and the future ones that are coming. The Twitter is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So cute. It's so adorable. The Twitter shark family, or the Ikea shark family, is amazing. We feel like you can look up at the sky and everyone on our share the same sky. We're all here together, looking at the same stars, the same moon, and the same sun. And there are people on this earth who care about you. Um, even if you haven't seen each other in a while or been together in a while, talked. I mean, I, I, it's not even the you haven't talked in a while or something necessarily. I don't, I just... I feel so fucking cheesy. Oh, oh man. Rip uh, that painful, out and put it Painful in amount of cheese. Rip that out and make Sora read it, please. <laughs> is this mm. Kyrie or is this Sora? Well, Sora's the one reading it. Well, should I send it? Oof. Mwah, send. <laughs> now just add Kingdom Hearts to Slide at the end and it's good. I'm joking. <laughs> or my friends are my power. Uh huh. It's okay if you like, if you feel like you have lost the light in your eyes for a sense of adventure. Doesn't mean that you can't get those things back. Even when you talk to people every day, there is at times an inherent loneliness. That is also very true. Yes. See, I. And sometimes I'm like with people, and by the time I go to bed, there's this overwhelming sense of being alone. It was actually very interesting because um when i was with my last roommate like um there will be days where i don't physically talk at all or i'm not physically with somebody um and i'll just be chatting with somebody online and like i, I don't feel lonely and then there might be days where like i won't chat with anybody online but i might be with physical i might physically be with people and i am lonely 
um, just because of the group I am. And it was very interesting because I've had people be like, well, talking online is not actually like chatting with people or not that like, I, it's know, different. I'm like, it's not. That, and I think that they don't know how to communicate with people online. And I think there's a lot of people like that who don't know how to like connect with people over text. But I'm a little like, I mean, if phone calls are valid, why isn't texting? And I, I think that we have great conversations in the stream with our chat. And yeah. I mean, well, we have heard some people from chat's voice while playing Among Us the one time, but for the most part, like, we never hear each other's voices during this yeah. other than yours and mine. Yeah. But, I mean, we're friends here, I think. I think that we like each other here in our stream chat. I think we have a lovely little community where we generally like, and th that those friendships are valid. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's also like the um, it being with people is one thing, but like uh, to me at least, um, even just a nice little like, like hey from somebody is just like. It kind of makes you feel less alone, even yeah. when it's a, like, even when it's not physically saying hey, it's just a message being yeah. like, hey, it's kind of like, oh, they thought of you and they purposely typed the message and sent it to you rather than, oh, seeing you and being like, hey. Yeah, and I mean, like, I I think as someone who's less touchy feely, which yeah. is to say, I'm both not of us touchy feely. Both of us. Yes. Well, both of us, yes. Um, I, like, I might be a little bit more, I, but like I'm so not. <laughs> I put most of my value in like the conversations I have with people and like the words that we share. And you don't need to be physically around someone to yeah. share those words. And I think that the words and like the communication is a lot more meaningful sometimes than just like sitting around a table together. Um, you know what just popped in my head, and I don't know why it did, but probably because of what you said. Um, I've talked with my now roommate about like love languages and stuff like that. And I'm like, my brain went to like, is my love language communication? Because like, I'll purposely be like, hey, I want to talk to you, like, let's talk type thing. Or, and be like, is that where I spend my time and energy with friendship? It's just being like, let's talk, let's just, let's do things. I mean, I forget exactly what the love language ones all were. Yeah. I don't I think know any that, of them. like, spending time with people was a big one of mine. Especially, you know, you both of us are introverts. Oh, like, yeah. if we want to, like, spend the time and energy hanging out with someone, that generally means we like them because we're spending that time and we don't really want to do that with people who are, like, super exhausting that we don't oh, want to spend I our energy with. Seeing, seeing like, what was it, like, it was like a picture of a Twitter or like a Tumblr post or something, and it was like, finding somebody who doesn't drain you is a miracle, and be, people being like, yeah, no, like, some people don't get that. Where it's like, if when you find that person or people where it's just like, no, this isn't draining, it's just like, like, what is this feeling? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, life is breaking me too. I wish I only had a small job which pays nearly enough to keep my car when I go. I don't want to be seen as lazy or rather from not just one of the workers. Each day is tired of me now. Ooh, we might need to get back to that one. Hmm? So I might need to get back to that one. Ooh. I'm like... I don't have like a kind words way of responding to this one. Because again, I don't tend to be the kind of person who cares what other people think of me or have to say about me, um, which I realize is, you know, not the case for a lot of people. Um, and I mean, nothing against people who do, like, take really personally other people's, like, opinions. Um, so all, all I have to say is, like, <laughs> fuck them is a valid thing to want and 
you know, it's your li life, not theirs. But I don't think that's helpful advice here. No. I don't know. Does anyone else have more useful things to say to be supportive to this person? Yeah. And it's also even some quote harder careers or like some pretty intense like um involving careers, mm -hmm. some people still call lazy. Like yeah. like uh a A of your need is to not work a harder job, that's valid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, your ambitions are your own. If yeah. your dream is to just have a small job and pursue very different things in life, you know, not everyone needs to dream of labor. No. Every career has dignity. Oh, yeah. Hey, I... Me, Unless me, you're me, the kind me. of CEO who just, like, sits around collecting money. I'm, I'm going to make a family comment. I'm sorry. Uh, I went to school for computer science. I work IT. My family said I don't have a real job because all I do is sit in front of a computer. Not, you know, really understanding, but they basically said I had an easy, like, not real job. Um, yeah. And it's kind of like a where I'm coming. That's where my brain is like, IT's not always easy work. Uh, yeah, please describe. Yeah. And it's kind of like some people just, some people are that type where it's like, no, you're still lazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, the pandemic has taught us like all of those roles that we commonly treat as yeah. unimportant that pay like minimum wage because they're easy and lazy people or something are so many of the essential worker positions that are forced to keep working their way through. And yeah, well, if all of them stopped working, yeah. we wouldn't our, our like, whole diving minimum, would crash. Minimum wage jobs, like working at a grocery store or something, yep. is not valued by society. And mm -hmm. those kinds of like low paying jobs are treated as people being lazy. But that doesn't actually mean that they're lazy. It just means society doesn't yeah. And I Hearing mean, for that matter, some people only work like a couple hours a day, but make a lot of money. And that doesn't mean they're lazy either. It just means they have other interests. It means they have other things they want to do with their time. It's yeah. okay too. Oh well, yeah. And I mean... Hearing about your job seems really hard. It makes me grateful you're doing it, not me. They choose to justify lower wages, yeah, and it's kind of like my my brain went to like ah oh, yes with the pandemic. Have pe people? Oh, I been... know we're preaching to the choir. <laughs> How have people been talking about teachers and what teachers have to go through right now, having to figure out how to do online and this that and the other There's thing? There's no such thing as unskilled labor. Everything's a skill. Everything is yeah. a thing that requires practice. When you're new to a job, no matter what the job is, you're going to be a little bit trash at it because you have to learn. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So many jobs have to train you at the very beginning. That's just how it is. As a teacher, thank you, Sharky. That's what was like, uh, we had a de we had a quote debate in high school about like, oh, what, like, uh, should there be like a, a, a maximum wage or something? And we got talking about minimum wage. I'm like, well, what about teachers? Teachers aren't paid nearly enough. Like, they aren't. They're paid like crap. And then it's just like, but they're expected to do ama like amazing things. It's kind of like, 
What? And oftentimes, like, provide all the materials for oh, everything. Pro provide, provide all their materials, pro um, pay for their own, like, And parents uh, do not appreciate workers. them. School districts don't appreciate them at times. Yes, but I mean, like, parents who should be grateful oh, yeah. because it's their kids that are being taught and taken care of. They don't appreciate it. Because, oh. oh, no, you were mean to my little Billy because you took and, five points off. And then right now, during the pandemic, where all the families and the teachers have to learn about, like, how do they do online school? How do you teach all the kids? How do you manage all like we pay just all enough this to make sure we don't qualify for SNAP benefits or other government assistance. That's Yo. terrible. Uh, growing up with teacher parents taught me quick that they're highly unappreciated by society. Um, yeah. And I have been at a job, I've been at an IT job where they're very bad at teaching and I like teaching the new people. Um, I. I remember trying to upend how they do teaching, and it, it just didn't work, uh, at least at that place, because some people really didn't like how I upended it, because they didn't like me specifically. But it's kind of like when you're not when you're not good at teaching, not just as a teacher, just as a person, like it hurts everything. <laughs> like it will hurt your job and your workplace if you don't have a good person teaching what needs to be learned. Like, like the teaching skill is so flippin' important to our lives. Oh yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. So are, are we replying to this one? Some, because some parents see school as daycare, not very necessary. I could show me ad paper and not the customer sweet out the boss. And that's the thing of like um I like at my at, at that job, uh the person just assumed that they would the people the new people would just remember things that were already said and remember this, that and the other thing. And it's like that's not how it works. Like you don't need to like keep repeating it 12 times but you can't remember you can't expect like say it once and they can't remember everything i and it's interesting me saying this because i was always like i'm not good at teaching <laughs> how did i get to be professor sharky uh anyway uh, you say that but i mean you were asked to like teach new people at your job because you were doing well, right? I was asked before to mentor people. That went out badly, like, uh, that went out badly when the person who did a bad job heard about it and kind of kept that back at me. But like in general, we have people assume I can show people how to do things. Every now and then I get emails about becoming a teacher because most STEM people don't become teachers, especially in math and chemistry. Every time I'm like, I appreciate what teachers do, teachers do, but I want no part of it. Yeah, no, that's the thing, like, people are like, teaching is easy, you just have to show it, and that's it. And it's like, no, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not, not how it. teaching works. Not so much in there's, I mean, like... There's not even a good agreement on how people best learn. And part of that is because it's different for everybody. Yeah. And you have to oh, adapt yeah. and you have to, not only all of those things, but I mean, just caring for like your students. Yeah, my prop, my biggest problem is I'm an auditory learner. I am not a visual learner. Um, so like when somebody has to learn, like if somebody had to learn visually, I, like I might, I, I don't know how to, I, I, ah, because I'm like, yeah, I just sit, like people say that me and yeah. I have a really good chance of remembering. I mean, there's some skills that I can pick up and sort of learn by watching. There's some skills I can sort of pick up by hearing about it. And there's some skills that if you don't do it by practicing it yourself, yes. you will never learn. Oh, yeah. And there's so many different ways of teaching and techniques yeah. and everything not everything works for everyone yep and 
on top of all that, like the actual teaching part, at least for school, isn't even always like the only thing because then you have to go through grading and stuff and god there's just so much it's so much work you have new visual and static on it so if you don't let me get my hands on it and do the thing i can get there i wish i was an art card but memory is very very good so uh there's nothing to do <laughs> i totally understand that dale i totally understand that um yeah, I, if somebody, my memory is bad, so like if somebody says memorize this, I won't be able to just memorize it. Um, if, if somebody, and my memory is weird, if somebody says something to me, I'll, like I'll either pick it up and remember it for a while, or I'll be like, hey, what did you say? Oh yeah, okay. Um, it fully depends. Um, but like, I... It's it just, it's kind of, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know how brains work. How do brains work? Chem major, how does brain work? Chem major, how does brain work? Yes. That's not only chemistry. I know. It's Although magic thing. probably knows a fair bit about that more than the rest of us do as well. Uh, frustrating part is how she says there's nothing to it. She's so good at a job, so she's teasing for others. That, that's... And that's the kind of, uh, my, my visual memory is great. I can still draw the full step of reaction that's so due to digest it. See, that is so cool to me. Um, that's the type of thing of, I wish I, that was the type of person I was where if I visually saw it, I would be able to pick it up. Because that's really cool to me. Um, I was the type of person uh, uh, when in high school, um, people would study during lunch and stuff, and just their, like, their, them, like, speaking the study, because they were, um, uh, that's how they learned, uh, them speaking out the stuff was enough to be like, oh yeah, I remember this, 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 and this, until it just, like, jog it good enough for, like, everything. <laughs> It, like, oh my gosh. I pissed off too many people during that, and I feel bad. Uh, but that's how it was. <laughs> um, and, th and that's the that's the problem, uh, Dale, is uh, where the teaching comes into being hard, is where it's like, when some people are like, oh no, this is just, it's very easy, but it's like, it's not easy for everyone. You have to explain it out. Like, you have to think about it in certain ways to, like, help them throw it. Um, it it's hard. Teaching's hard. Like, this is why, I'm, like, teachers don't get enough credit, because teaching's hard. Uh, there's that. some electricity in there, I think. I think uh, there's some sure. electricity in there, yeah. It, it, it's a matter of my head, I think. Knowing your own wants and needs isn't plays you're selfish. If your dream doesn't involve a harder job, that's valid. It doesn't make you lazy, it just means that your dreams are different from what those people think they should be. But it's your life and your time, and theirs. You don't have to live the kind of life or, or particular types of careers just because they think you should. I'm cheering for your success on your terms. Should I send it? Yeah, that's great. I don't I don't have any tips is the problem. I'm like I don't have tips for I mean not being that, tired out by that. But Oh uh, But I mean that is a that's kind of a tip in and of itself. It's kind of more of a I'm cheering for you and just encouraging. And some pe some people are very uh yeah, some people are more charismatic and customer servicey. Uh, I need to get out cust I work IT and I need to get out of customer service as quickly as possible. People think I'm very good at dealing with the customers and, and that stuff. But I need to get out of it. <laughs> I get my charisma stat is okay. I just don't like using it. Ooh, I stay cooped up in my room all the time. I can't seem to be able to do anything productive. What do I do? I think 
this will probably be the last one. Because oh, it's been yeah. about two hours. Yeah, it's been over two hours, yeah. Hey, you can do productive things in your room. something that I don't think I've ever actually been taught how to de-escalate a situation. I've somewhat taught um I mean I've, I'm not necessarily usually well, I don't work a customer facing job anymore in yeah. general. Um, but I'm usually pretty good at like keeping firm and like steady so usually um like i'm pretty okay at dealing with that kind of thing but it kind of requires a lot of not exactly stealing yourself but i guess sort of being steady and firm and that kind of thing and that's not easy for everyone no i've had a few situations like I work like I said I work on cake so obviously I've had situations where things are not going the caller's way they are frustrated at technology being garbage because technology is garbage and because we are there steam gets let out um and it's hard being on both sides of things, being the one it's being thrown at, and I understand it's hard being hard being the one who's in the frustrated situation because technology is crap and it's frustrating. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the people coming to you don't understand it, which is even more yeah. frustrating. Oh well, yeah, uh, which I know for me, I'm very much like uh, my stance has always been like, hey. I totally understand, like, uh, I understand the frustration, I'm here to help, like, I'm always here, I'm here to help you throw it, if you need to vent, if you need to be frustrated about this thing, I get it, and, um, let's just start where we can, and if it's something I can't work, like, assist with, like, there are sometimes I can't, it's kind of like, I'm very sorry, like, I, I can't do this, here's the reasons why, and just, and just try to be as polite as possible, and just listen. Um, I'm way too much of a listener. You know, they did not understand how our product worked. A few weeks ago, we our See, I've had people argue with me, uh, and try and try to go above me for things um, that didn't need to. Like a, a few weeks ago, last week, two weeks ago, um, I had somebody call in and be like, "You need to fix this because it's not working." And I'm like, "There's nothing I can do because I am not allowed to touch that computer because of X, Y, Z reasons." You need to do this. Person didn't accept that. Said I need to speak with my manager because obviously to them I wasn't helping them, uh, which is frustrating for them because they want a solution and I can only provide a solution them. that the best solution I can, which is you need to talk to uh, these other people. Um, 
my manager said the exact same thing and just kind of just like this is the only thing we can offer you and frustrations are there oh yeah no I, I've witnessed it I've witnessed people um, at prior jobs doing things that they are not allowed to do and can get into some really troubling things uh, to do. Uh, as an IT person, one thing we're not, we're never allowed to do is open up personal computers, and I've seen people do it uh, while on the job. And uh, hmm, uh, oh boy. Yeah, different people have different skills. So some people might be apologizing and be like, uh, well, and some people are like, no, we can't do that. Here's why. Mm, How can I yeah. say? I do know, like, as well, when I volunteered at conferences, for example, there's been a few techniques. Like, sometimes they just need to vent. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're the kind of person who's able to, sometimes just standing there and listening to them and letting them vent. And is all that they kind of need to get it out of their system and you help them as much as you can or you try to find some alternate solution mm -hmm. um, from there because it's important to make sure that they feel like they've been heard yeah. and um, one technique I really liked which of course is a little bit um, not necessarily possible for every situation, but um, because it was a conference, it was that um, if you have like a little notepad or something on hand, um, you can like give them the like a pen and notepad and say here, write your complaint down. I will personally make sure this gets delivered to the manager, whoever is in charge or whatever. And by the time they're finished writing it down, because, you know, writing, you have to, like, mm -hmm. stop yelling or whatever, sort of slow down, breathe, mm -hmm. like, actually physically write it out, it feels better. So, I know for my job, some people, some people are frustrated at the thing, and sometimes if I'm like, hey, like, even if I know the solution to it, um just just kind of to make them feel kind of to make them feel better i'll be like hey like let me check with a few people just to see if there's any other options even if i'm you know i'm like i don't think there are but like just to kind of be like hey like i i have checked with others we we talked about it these are the few options we came up with but more than likely you're gonna have to do this to kind of give them something um, rather than just be like, no, you're wrong, here's how to do it, type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a, hey, they've been heard and it's it, we've, try, we've tried to come up with something else uh, type of thing. Like you were saying, like brainstorm some solutions. I do that with my coworkers all the time being like, hey, I think it's this, like, is there any other ideas? Is there any something like this? Also, um, I've written just to basically the very last character you want to read over. <laughs> uh, dear Jamie, first, it's okay to not be productive. You don't have to measure your worth by your pro productivity. Don't beat yourself up for it if you don't have the energy to do the things you want to do. I think it's important to let your, yourself be unproductive sometimes. From there, take baby steps and just do what you can. Reward yourself for whatever you can manage. Forgive yourself for things that you can. You can get to those when you're able to. It'll be okay. Be I wanna cry, that was so nice. I can be sort of nice sometimes. You can give some nice kind words. Mm. Like you, you say you're not good at it, you you can give very nice kind words. Mm. Okay, so. Oh gosh. Count on me to deliver this letter. Oh, hello! Oh, hi! Sully bar? Sully? That was Sully. Makes me think of uh, Monsters, Inc. 
Yeah, exactly. I, I kind of wanted to do a um, mic impression, but I'm like, I can't do a Billy Crystal impression to save my life. Or to end my life, whichever. Oh, I've wondered, I've randomly, I randomly wandered in because I'm having trouble falling asleep and your channel came up with, for the search lo-fi. Oh, yeah, I mean, that would make sense because kind uh -huh. words are lo-fi beats. Well, but welcome. Like, getting up and moving forward is sometimes your trouble, I just have to say. Um, it, Yes, very much hello, sleepy friend. Hello, sleepy friend. We're actually wrapping up soon, but feel free to hang out in the meantime. We're playing a game called Kind Words, which is, uh, I think their subtitle to the game is something like Lo-Fi Beats to Write to. Yes. And um, basically you just, you read through notes about people feeling anxious or down about whatever and you write nice things and supportive things and write kind words to sort of support them and you uh, can also just send paper airplanes um with general nice things and good energy to send into the world and they're real people on the other end and you can also put requests for um kind words to be sent to you about something yeah if you're worried about anything yeah. And we just wanted to have a nice, chill space where we write kind things because I think it's been a very, very stressful day for a lot of people. Um, and yeah, this game has been highly recommended. I think it's very nice. It, sitting down and being like, just thinking of... Hey, let, let, let's yeah. let's send some kind Reading words. Reading through is... problems and just sending people support, and it's you know it's very it's very nice to do every once in a while. One of those things it's... that makes you feel better because you're putting yeah. good energy into the world and helping people feel better. Yeah. Wow, that's cheesy for me. Oh, God. oh boy. How did I learn about this game? I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Um, um, I had a friend. I, I can't remember if I know someone who worked on it or not. I feel like I saw something about someone I know working on it um, when it came out. Or it might have been that someone I know knows someone who works on it. Um, I know a lot of game with people. Um, this um, is on Steam. I don't remember if it's also on other platforms, but uh, it'd probably be harder on if it's not on PC. It, it, it's, it's, it's on basically thing. all of the PC platforms. Yeah. I don't think it's on anything other than the the, the yeah. uh, PC, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. Yeah. I mean, it's about writing letters and stuff, so it gets moderated via, well, in general, this game has a very like supportive, sweet community. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes. But then if you see, like, the make request button or something, um, there's actually a report button. So there's also that. And I th think, but I don't know for sure if there's any automated um, reporting. But, I mean, it's, I think, got a very kind and supportive community. Um, since that's kind of the point of the whole game. So I think that it hasn't had too many problems with that. It's been around for a while actually. Yeah, it's not a it's not a new game. Yeah. It's a few years old. Oh thank you for the follow. Oh thank you very much. We normally do dating sims with dumb voices, so yes, uh, this is usually, very different. Well We've played other chill games on here. Yes. Mini we have. Metro is also quite chill, so yeah. um, we're probably going to stop soon. But if you're just looking for chill lo fi music, um, maybe someone's playing Mini Metro. Yeah. Oh, man. Or other the... people who might be playing the same game. It's the most 
will say for work game of CD play. I mean, you, we, we have played mini Metro in which all the people are shapes that get on trains. It's a very safe for trains, work game. So. I mean, technically we've played a lot. Our Fridays are very safe for work. Yeah, Fridays tend to be um, safe for work. Well, not always. Well. It's, well, okay. I mean, like, arcade spirits depends. is generally safe for work. Cotton yes. Different basically safe for work. Yes. Um, Dream Daddy was pretty safe for work. Like, there's a lot of games we've played. The The real issue is that you've joined sometimes when we've been playing Rose of Winter. No, <laughs> that's a very cute up in chat. You don't get that explicit in chat. Oh no. I you think just the most kind of do the uh, Enna lewd ones. The most explicit I, uh, my brain goes to when it pies around is the, um, the teapot. Uh, I didn't want to say it due to not wanting to bring up, bring up its existi existence. Yes, that, that joke, which we shall not explain so that it does not propagate. <sighs> I was trying not to say the object. What, we curses? I love curses. Who are we cursing? We turned the slab who or suffered my curse. <laughs> the cursed slab, yes. That that's when I hear cursed, I that's what my brain goes to. Because my young brain is very courage the cowardly dog. A courage the cowardly dog is a very good show. It, it's part of the reason why I have a deathly fear of spiders. I know, I know. Because that stupid cat. I'm gonna put this back in the title screen because I think we're about done. But yes, kind what? words, lo fi, chill beats to write to. Wow, that's so good too. So good. Those emotes are so good. <laughs> our voices up for a bit longer for a little bit more chill music on the chat. The chatting shop. Ooh. Uh. Yo, well back. Well back. <laughs> it's a very bad old sorry impression. It's not that bad, actually. You just assume that all of your impressions are bad. Uh, they are. Have you heard of my Mickey Mouse? Yeah, I have. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> when I had the friend be like, no, that's like, just, it's like, it's just off. Like, there's like one change you need to make. Don't know what the change is, but there's one change you need to make, and that'll be perfect. It's kind of scary. I'm still waiting for your Donald. I need to learn how to do Donald. I need to sit down and learn you, how to do you it. You saw um, the uh, instruction thing and everything. Yeah, you read off yeah, that but, whole thing. But like, I need to sit down and actually like learn and practice it. I've actually been um, the next few weeks. I'm actually going to be doing my best to actually step away from my computer for a while. Um, I'm still going to be like uploading like the YouTube videos and editing and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to forget a little bit more. Um, and because games have been taking up a large portion and I have a lot recorded, so it's like I need to sit down. So I'm trying to just. I might have like a YouTube thing playing in the background or something like that, but like I'm not playing, I'm sitting down and focusing on a book. Um, I'm just trying to get through some stuff with books because I have not read a book, like a, a book that is new to me in so long. I think the last one I read was that one that you sent me that I got viscerally angry at the ending because it annoyed me that it just became a love interest stuff. That um, dragon book. I just saw a Twitter bot post. Sorry, this is off topic, but I just saw a Twitter bot post that reminded me of Dream Daddy. 
Heroes, Heroes of Olympus bot. And the tweet is, Annabeth kissed him. Good luck, seaweed brain. Just come back to me, okay? Mm, mm. Ah, Heroes of Olympus, okay. Seaweed and... brain. Uh-huh, yep, that's the nickname. Hey, 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 hey. Santa seaweed. Ah, uh, yes, Santa seaweed, snappy seaweed. I'm calling this snappy. Yes. Before there was bottom top bottom, there was Santa seaweed. Yeah, Pro there was Santa. With, with his beard with the eyes in it, so like it has a little <laughs> creature. Oh man, I miss Santa seaweed and his little beard. What is that? Oh, come to think of it, we should announce on the channel. You said you were starting to put up our old videos on the archive I, YouTube channel? I haven't done the description yet. Um, I was well, doing very it, soon I, then we shall have our old I am, I videos am, up on YouTube. Santa very Santa soon. Santa. So uh, that I am, the I newer am, people can all witness the glory of Santa Seaweed. I, I will state on the record that I will have at least at least one stream up in public for the anniversary stream. I am giving myself that much time because I know I will forget. I mean, that's fine. Look, I'm the one who requested an extra complex uh, description that has a bunch more information than you wanted to do. So I cannot blame you if it takes longer, especially because you're the ones with you're the one with the recordings. So like, I can't. Yeah. Well, right now it's basically just getting descriptions, tags, and all like the nitty gritty uh, YouTube stuff um, yeah. done to it, yeah. um, and also actually editing and rendering some of the stuff to fix some stuff. Um, anyway, uh, to, but I am going to, Good night, I, I, yeah, hi, uh, I am planning on getting that up and running so that our archives can start going, um, by the anniversary stream, so in 15 right. days. Then we will aim for the very first one to go up on the second year anniversary. That's actually part, one thing I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, instead of buy the first, or buy the anniversary stream, we should just have it go okay. up on the anniversary. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, yeah, and just, uh, and I, that means I have a little bit of time to create a backlog and plan yeah. everything and start scheduling stuff to go live. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, thanks to everyone who joined. Have, have a not too stressful night, and I hope you join us next time when I don't know what we're doing on Friday. But we'll be back Friday night. Probably doing something just as silly. Well, no, today wasn't silly, but today very silly. Today was silly. Today was chill and well, uh, sweet. We'll probably be doing something very silly and not sour. Hey, bye. Good night, everyone. Good night.